experience um you know we had that as an offensive line we had that camaraderie you know playing together um I, yeah, I would say we lost experience but you know that brings an opportunity for other people um Zeke has been playing well and Amron has been playing well too I'm um, actually kind of surprised all of us he's he's gonna be a good football player for us you know still has the you know that freshman uh you know attitude and mentality but you know I he does great work out there, um, so does Zeke. So, you know, we're going to have some competition there. Um, but, yeah, I would say the most thing, the most thing we miss is experience with Hiram. It's both. You know, Coach has hit on it multiple times. Uh, the number one thing is player, uh, individual player improvement, you know, through this spring. So... Um, we just got to keep on improving, you know, as an individual as well as a team, you know, especially as well as the offensive line group. Um, like you said, you know, missing higher now, is, it sucks. You know, he's a big part of our success in offense and would I have somebody big to replace him. Um, his physical nature, uh, his mentality, and, um, you know, the way he uses his hands and the way he moves his feet, um, it's it's very impressive. Um, you know, we just, he's still a young pup, you know, so we just got to get some more experience with him, but he's going to be a good football player for us. I don't know, it's obviously a different position, but I'm curious, have you talked to Cody Schrader at all about kind of making that leap, that transition to a different level? Um, no, I haven't actually talked to him at all, but well, about that, obviously. <laughs> I've talked to him, but um, no, he's, uh, you know, he's, <laughs> I, I typically come to workouts, you know, 30 to 45 minutes earlier, you know, get warmed up, stretch, you know, get ready for the workout, and dude, Cody beats me there every day. Takes my spot. I'm like, hey, that the first spot is mine, and he's like, no, uh, not if you beat me there. And so, you know, that's one thing I've uh, been impressed by Cody is he, he's one of the hardest workers I know. Um, and, you know, he's a low body and he's, he's a strong, powerful dude. So I'm excited for him to see him. But I should talk to him about that, you know, that big job because I did it as well. Yeah. So I, How long did it, did it take you to, I mean, what was the, the biggest difference? And was there a moment of, oh, hang on, this, this really is different or, or is it <sighs> You know, at the end of the day, it is just football. But yeah, there is speed difference, side difference. I mean, we're playing in the SEC here. And, you know, there's there's freaks in nature's Jordan Davis. I mean, I'm sure you guys all saw that. Um, but, you know, the play the, the speed of the game, all of that has an effect in it. And, you know, practice, um, and just that experience to, you know, adapt from you know, from the SEC. So that's the biggest thing is just trying to get used to it you know, repetition, experience. So um, I think that's the biggest thing that he's going to see is the game speed <laughs> and how big guys are here. <laughs> Connor, can you talk about what, uh, like, the versatility you have and what that does for an offensive line? Say that again? The Just, versatility you bring to an offensive line, how much does that help? Yeah, um, you know, I think I've mentioned this a lot of times. Uh, Coach Johnson, he gets us uh, ready for, you know, any position. No, I don't think I've quite reached center yet. <laughs> um, but, you know, I think everybody, you know, within the old line, they need to understand all assignments as well as positions, right? And so you can move from left to right, and it's not going to be a big deal. I mean, you see it in the league. Guys move from right tackle to guard or whatever. And, you know, that just shows your value to the team. And, um and yeah, it's just, you know, it's valuable to the offensive line because, you know, one guy goes down, you, you know, example A, hiring, you know, we got to have somebody else to get out there, so. You center, you know, obviously you can't just jump from any other tackle to center, but what, what makes it that way? What makes it about center, which makes it a little bit more difficult than the other? Yeah, I, mean, I was going to say snapping. Snapping is the biggest thing, um, you know, because I, you know, I know the offense pretty well. I know I played a lot of ball, and you know I try to help out Bensie, 
um, you know, because he's new, you're still trying to get get a hold of things, the game speed and all that, you know, assignments. And so, you know, that's the one thing that Mike was really, you know, he was great at was he was on point. You know, he knew everything, knew everything. Um, you know, I try, I'm trying to get to that point uh, where I could, where we both can make calls. You know, so the right side of the field, I, you know, Bensie doesn't need to look at. So, you know, I got it covered. So um, that's the point where I'm trying to get at. You know. Um, you know, I'm getting there, uh, but yeah, the at the end of the day, the center makes the call. You know, whatever he says, we stick with it. So, um, and also snapping, that's uh, that's the biggest thing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Probably in the spring. Adam Barrett, Manister, and feel free to throw questions <laughs> at Barrett as well. There, you know, all the teams played with a lot down there. Yeah, I mean, I, uh, when Drew came to town here during the bye week, it was just fun to catch up with him. Um, me and him were, I'd say, good friends whenever he was here. Uh, you know, I think he's probably really excited for the opportunity. He's a competitor. Um, you know, he's got a lot of talent, and um, I'm sure he'll go up there and, you know, make a lot of plays and then. If I'm not mistaken, I think Noah Fant was in that trade too to Seattle, so it's going to be a great opportunity for Albert in Denver as well. So, you know, I think both those guys are going to have great opportunities, and you know, both of them will rise to the occasion. Great people and great competitors. Aaron, uh, I know that there's a freshman receiver getting a lot of attention here, but I'm curious about the other one. What have you seen out of McConnell? Yeah, you know, uh, something actually the other day that happened was, you know, we were walking back across the bridge from practice and Makai was just came up to me and asked me just my honest opinion of like how, how he was doing, you know, like um, what he could improve on. And, you know, I thought that was pretty mature of him. You know, he's not looking for a pat on the back. He's looking where can he improve? How can he, you know, find his role on this team? And I thought that was really cool. Um, definitely something that you want to look for in a younger receiver who, you know, just wants to find ways that he can improve. And so I think that's the biggest thing that stuck out to me. You know, he's working just as hard as everyone else, and, you know, he's going to bring, do a lot of great things here at this school. Uh, you know, I think his speed is one thing. You know, I think he's a very fast individual. Um, he's very cerebral when it comes to the game. You know, he's able to process things. Um, and understands like the playbook well so far, which is really good for a receiver coming in from high school. You know, Coach Drink always says he's got prom next week, and you know, what I mean, like he's not being, he's not expected to do what he's doing now, and he's doing it. And so, I think that's something that's really um, been good to see from him, and you know, it's a testament to his hard work. Um, you know, I think obviously you lose like veteran leadership. The guy played like the most starts like ever in college football. Um, that's hard to replace. And, you know, I think the coaches did a good job of bringing in players that are going to have an opportunity to compete. And so um, I think you lose that. I think you lose a great guy in the locker room. I think someone in the NFL is going to find that he's just a guy that um, he's going to come in, put his head down, work hard. And then, obviously, I think the biggest thing we can all say is we lost a great pit bull on the team. You know, Mike had a great dog. He was, I was roommates with him. I love that. I was kind of nervous at first when he said he was coming with his pit bull, Duke. And then that uh, Duke ended up being, like, the best dog I've ever seen. He was awesome. So I think that's probably the biggest thing we're going to miss.